producers of the Real Happy Life World Show came to me. They said, hey, Matt, would you like to be part of our new reality TV program? What we're going to do is we're going to put you with a young couple in their own house, and you're going to have to stay there for a few weeks, about three weeks, and see if you can make it throughout those three weeks without tearing each other apart. And I said, sounds like fun. Uh, who's going to pay my bus fare? It was pretty crazy that first week with all that nightlife and uh, that wild living that they had there. I mean, you know, Evansville's a pretty hectic town as it is, and boy, I, I never realized what I was getting myself into when I was staying with those guys. Brandy was studying to become a veterinarian. The only problem was she was afraid of animals. Now, I know David, you know, he would complain about doing all the work around the house, but that was, you know, patently untrue. To tell you the truth, uh, I think I did the most work around there. Uh, I mean, you know, David, uh, yeah, he washed dishes a few times and all that, but I took out the, you know, trash a couple of times, I know, and, and I usually got the mail. These roommates of mine, they never clean up after themselves. I'm always the one doing the dishes, sweeping the floor, doing the laundry. They leave their underwear everywhere. I found their underwear in the dishwasher, for God's sake. The dishwasher. I don't know how long I can take this. This thing is, well, it'll help me around here. You know, uh, like, like, you know, if I need somebody to sweep the floor, uh, David, he's in there reading his porno, and Randy's playing her game all the time. Nobody helps me around here anymore. You know, it ain't so bad doing the dishes all the time. Sometimes they leave their leftovers on there. In fact, last night, they left a half a stromboli on this plate. But it's good. And jalapenos. That's a funny word. Jalapeno. Those two are the most annoying roommates anyone could ever ask for. Brandy, Brandy would say, you know, that she was, she had to go to her room. That was her excuse for not helping around the house, and it was getting kind of frustrating, to be honest with you, because she said she had to go to her room and, and uh, work on, uh, on her, uh, you know, exams for her school, her school exams and homework, and uh, I'll tell you what, uh, I think we, we caught her a few times on that computer, all right, but I don't think she was doing anything for her schoolwork. In fact, um, it was some websites and weird chat rooms and stuff, and it had to do with animals. And David was never around whenever I looked for him. I mean, you know, for somebody who's supposed to be claiming to do most of the work around there, uh, I could never find him. In fact, a few times he would, you know, be disappearing for hours on end. And uh, when I'd find him, he'd up to the strangest things. Where are you? What are you doing back there? I'm trying to get this pickle jar. Oh. Oh, there he is. Oh, pickles. Well, the time came that we had to vote somebody off, you know, because uh, that's the way it worked. We had to eliminate, and so we took a vote, and uh, I don't think it was any real surprise who we were going to let go. <laughs> Get me out of here! But I think Matt should go next. <laughs> Get all wet. Uh, hey, David. Huh? Yeah. Are? What? <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. I, I'm cleaning up a mess. I, not. I spilled right there. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think David was taking it pretty hard whenever Brandy left. At first, he was you know he was a party to it, and uh, he may tell you differently now, but it was you know really his decision to get rid of her. And uh, but you know he started hitting the hard stuff after a while. I don't think he could handle the you know what he had done. I miss Brandy. We kicked her out too soon. Here, let me take care of that for you. I decided, uh, you know, that that there could only be one winner, and and uh, it was going to be me. David. <laughs> 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 I guess I want 
So would I do it again after this experience? Uh, I, I I don't know. I'd have to think about it for a little bit. Um, it depends. It depends if they would give me more bus money. I guess. Mm.